one thing I haven't covered uh, in the show yet is that I generate the screenshots on the Play Store uh, automatically. Yeah. Uh, look, if you see this here. Yeah. Yeah, if you see this, yeah, this is generated automatically. Uh, so all of this here, like the screenshot, the uh, Android emulator puts up a, a, a mocked version of the app with uh, some uh, database and then takes a screenshot, which is then fed into some uh, HTML tool, uh, HTML script, yeah, which just puts the screenshot and puts also the uh, the text uh, of the right, uh, the right uh, part here. Yeah. And then outputs the, the screenshot into a directory, which is then picked up by a third tool, which uploads it to a Play Store. <laughs> so all of that, the whole process of a screenshot is done automatically. That's really cool. I, I, I quite like this. So if you, if we go back here, um, yeah, here you see all the titles here, yeah, for example, uh, of the uh, store screenshots and all the, the descriptions here. Yeah. So everything you see on the screen, yeah, uh, if I can put the screen here, uh, good enough. Uh, oh. Yeah, everything you see here is actually uh, like like from the store screenshots uh, uh, script. Yeah. So there's uh, three, three layers how, of how does this actually How does this actually work? Yeah, how does this thing work? I, I would love to know. I mean, or is it a secret? Uh, oh. Or how did you find out how to even do this, first of all? So this is an HTML page. Yeah. Uh, you have an HTML page, which is uh, basically uh, the right uh, the right screenshot that I want here. Yeah. And here I've put a random reference one uh, that, uh, to mock up everything I wanted to, to have. And then here you have a random screenshot to see how it works here. And like, let me open this. Uh... Oh. Yeah, here's the HTML one, yeah. And uh, on, the, on the divs containing the title, uh, you have uh, some IDs here, ID title and ID description. And the script, uh, this is this time uh, uh, JavaScript uh, uh, one just replace just replace the right uh, the right uh, selector with the right image and the right title and the right description. Well, how did you get the phone image in the background? Is that just some image you found online and somehow made it work, or what? No, no, it's also generated. Uh, you have another tool which um, uh, where is it? I use Flutter uh, screenshots here, yeah? uh, the screenshots command. Uh, screenshot is it? Yeah, it's a, it's a it's a, a Flutter tool yeah, which uh, just pulls up an emulator. Uh, oh. Yeah, it's use a YAML file yeah here, uh, and it just records into the folder uh, all the right uh, locals. And so then you have um, you have a driver. Where is it? Is it uh, is it this one? No, 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 no. This is not this. <laughs> Let me find the right file. Um, there's a there's a file here driving all of this in test stuffing. Yeah, this is exactly yeah, this is this one. So the screenshots screenshots tool run this uh, this test, and what happens? What happens is that it's just opening uh, an emulator and uh, fetching some um, SQL file. Uh, where is it? Oh. Yeah, and Sedomic, it's also so has to, to do some config, some special config, yeah. Uh, 
for the everything to work. And what happens is open up the emulator, downloads the SQL file, the right uh, SQLite file, and then just switch up the language one by one. Yeah. That's exactly how it works. Yeah. And uh, then it, it all puts all the screenshots into uh, one folder, uh, which is then picked up by this tool to uh, generate the Play Store screenshots. So what happens is that it just goes to the account screen, taps on one account, do a screenshot, go back to the account, do the screenshot of the account page, then goes to the, um, click on the bottom bar to go to the home page, uh, click on the, uh, to get a screenshot of the statistics. So basically you get all the screenshots one by one. It's all put into a folder, uh, just as a raw screenshot. So they, they, they just look like, um, the other one we've seen before. Uh, oh. uh, yeah, they're going to look similar to this here. And then uh, this tool here is picking that up uh, and then transforming, transforming it into uh, an HTML page, uh, which is looking like this. Uh, and here is just zoom of the right, the right part here. He's just zooming of the right uh, part of the image. Uh, so this is a full HTML page. Wait, how, how do you do the phone on the outside, though? Uh, oh. So the phone is just the HTML this part? thing, or what? I know the phone is just a yeah. No, the yeah, actual it's, phone. It's also phone. a phone. Yeah, if there's a frame, the PNG here. Yeah, and uh, it's just a PNG yeah. frame which are just on top of it. If you remove it, you can see oh, there's no frame anymore. <laughs> ah. So how did you get a frame though? Did you create that yourself, or you found that online, or what? Uh, yeah, I found it online. Uh, I think I found it online. Yeah, uh, uh, on some uh, open source uh, frame one, uh, and I'm not sure it's exactly the same as a proper phone frame, but it does the job. And yeah, I I seen this quite a lot, but I always curious about how the heck people do it. That's why I kept asking. I was so curious because obviously it makes it look much nicer rather than if you just show a square image, right? And here is how it works for the or uploading to the Play Store. Uh, so I just get the Google API and I just send everything, uh, all the screenshots, all the descriptions, all the title, all the icons, everything basically to the Play Store because each language also have their own uh, description, their own title. Uh, this is uh, also in the translated file. I try to keep all the language related stuff there. Uh, yeah, here. So, for example, this is the store description. So, it's pretty long, but that's what you see on the Play Store. Uh, and there, uh, everything is getting uh, uploaded uh, and set up there. So, I have to... Is, uh, how, Google, how the Google API works is kind of uh, similar to Git. It's like a snapshot. So, you do everything you want, and then after you commit. Uh, so, I just delete everything. Uh, recreate everything and then just uh, push the change. That's that's how it works here. Yeah. yeah, so I I uh, create the the listing event of the I set the description. I delete all the image. Then I upload icon screenshots and feature graphic, which is a big one on the top. And then I put I do a commit to make everything live. Okay, this is pretty cool.